Hey, Daniel here with the uh, Oval Dogs Coffee. Um, I'm doing my first video blog today, so this is episode one, if you want to call it. But uh, today was a pretty awesome day. Got to start it off with some good coffee, and uh, it's balloon fiesta right here now in New Mexico, so we uh, brought our camera out with us today when we went balloon chasing. So, um, got some footage of that, and then I'm going to be going over today and just uh, some products that I use that I really like. And I like this one, so I'll be going over that in a second. Uh, I want to show you first the balloon footage that we got, and then I'll, I'll get right into this. Hey, good morning. Uh, we're out here at the Balloon Fiesta. Well, we're not at the Balloon Fiesta. We're actually at the balloon called American Beauty. We have the benefit of roasting out here in New Mexico where there's so many beautiful things and so we just thought hey we should take some video of some of the things you don't always see. Um, most of the time when you come out to New Mexico you go down to the park and you get to see the mass ascension which is amazing. Skyscrapers basically uh, are coming up all around you and then floating off into the sky so it's pretty neat. Um, if you ever come out to New Mexico? Try to come out to New Mexico in October because that's when uh, usually in the first week of October. So um, yeah, and uh, this is just one of hundreds of balloons. So um, and if you get a chance, you can always uh, try to get some Oval Dogs coffee too. Uh, so I'm recording here at night. So I'm enjoying some decaf coffee that I roasted uh, to actually this afternoon. Um, tasting awesome just fresh coffee if you're a decaf person and you don't get fresh coffee uh, you're doing a disservice to yourself so I highly recommend if you if you can't handle caffeine try to get as fresh as coffee as you can because it just tastes so much better I've never had a good cup of um, decaf that wasn't fresh so just fresh decaf is great I'm doing this video at night had a long day but I wanted to go over this guy, it's a Hario uh, MSS1, but it's you, you've probably seen it, it's a pretty common uh, hand grinder. Um, I've got some samples of the grinds it has. This is its more coarse grind, and uh, the problem with the more coarse grinds is uh, you get a little bit of a lot, kind of a lot of the little particles in there so if you're doing a uh, French press then you're gonna get a lot of sludge at the bottom of that um, but for espresso you can maybe see this is some really really fine stuff um, this is not quite as fine as it will go but uh, pretty decent and then this is almost the last bit but it's uh, very 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 fine it's really nice uh, you get a lot of control with the notches on it uh, to kind of get what you want so for a hand grinder it's great for uh, if you're gonna go camping or anything like that and you need something to uh, grind your espressos and your hand espressos um, this right here it's kinda what you got for the stuff you can see the little tiny particles and some larger particles um, this one here is more what you're looking for with the French press um, the other one's more like the as coarse it, as it will go but uh, overall not really a problem um, except for when you're on that French press or something with wire mesh it's extremely easy to clean all the little parts come out really simple got this guy here you can just untwist it and it's ceramic so uh, super nice doesn't rust doesn't have any issues like that a uh, little bit more fragile so if you drop it it won't bend or anything but it can chip and stuff if you get a rock in there uh, you always want to check your coffee because if you get a rock in there it's if we're gonna bang up that uh, ceramic parts but these guys are a little dusty because I was just using it, but you've got these two really easy parts. They just come out, they go back in, real simple, a nice design. So here are your main parts. You have this part, which is actually two parts. 
Uh, it's pretty simple. You can line up everything and you can kind of tell even if you didn't take it apart you can be able to figure out where things go. This part here has got some grooves. They go in and they line up with these parts in here. Goes in just like that. Take this part and you just stick it in there. Gentle. Alright. It's got some springs that push it out. That way when it's loose it's the right looseness. If you want to, this part here I've been holding it with my hand, but you can just put this handle on here. It keeps it from moving while you twist things on. Okay, now, now it's to about where you could, oh no, a little bit tighter than that. Alright, so that's about where you want it to start doing your coarseness and gauging it. You can go all the way in, just like that, and that's uh, obviously not, that's not going to get you anything that's just closed, but untwist it a couple times and then you get a really fine grain. So that's perfect for espresso, and then you can adjust it. Each little snap is a, another uh, grade down. So pretty awesome. Um, a real simple grind. This part goes on real easy. So extremely uh, good for just cleaning and keeping clean and, and things on the go. If you're doing the gourmet um, coffees this is especially nice for cleaning out all the other flavors and other oils. Alright thanks for watching my first uh, YouTube video for Oval Dogs Coffee. I'm really excited. Uh, to keep doing these. Um, I really want to get into the research for the beans and, and really kind of get in depth with that but that will come with time. Um, keep in touch because I've got a lot of stuff I want to get into as far as roasts, um, <laughs> all the aspects of roasting, uh, drum roasters, air roasters, barbecue roasters, pan roasting, Pan roasting is where I started, so I'm, I kind of want to see if I can find other people. If you know somebody or if you're doing pan roast, I'd love to interview. So leave me a message or anything else like that. It would be great. Um, I just would love to to hear from you guys. Even if you're, if you're doing any type of roasting, I'd love to hear from you. So uh, leave me a message, um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.